Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. We are back here in the MDF. We have a minor problem with one of our firewalls. So we've got two, two sets of firewalls. Uh, one's what I guess the industry refers to as a north-south firewall, which would be our internet firewall. That's up there. And the problem we're having today is with our east-west firewall, or what we call our segmentation firewall. It's down there. So the initial problem was that it was running really slow. I couldn't log in. Couldn't SSH to it. So I came down here and yanked both of those power cables and plugged it back in. It came up and then I could log in. Palo also Palo Alto support got in there and uh, they uh, their first determination is that there's something wrong with the the log disks so they sent me a couple of new log disks and what I'm doing this morning is replacing them um, I've already replaced one so I could figure out what I was doing and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the other one and I'll uh, show you what I have to do here so I'm gonna unwrap it I'll set you guys down here see what's inside this thing uh, appears to be a regular old hard disk so, got some screws came with it I'm just going to use the screws uh, on the old carrier so what I have to do here let's see if you can see the screen or not Come on, camera, cooperate. So what we're going to do is remove, I already did log one, so we're going to do log two. I have a feeling it's going to give me the same error as log one did. That's going on. I am going to unwrap this bad boy. Yeah. Client is not available. That's what it said the first time, as you can see. So, all right, here's the new disk. I'm gonna go grab the, uh, go pull it out of the carrier here. And the way we do this is, uh, can you see what I'm doing? There we go. Just move this tab over, pull this little arm, and it slides right out. Slides right out. There we go. There it is. Little disc. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those screws out so you can just can sit over there and watch me make sure I do it right. All right, let's get rid of these old screws. How many comments am I going to get about not using a wrist strap? And how many people actually know what a wrist strap is? I would get nailed back when I worked at Lockheed if I worked on any equipment without grounding myself first. That was back in the mid 80s, mid 1980s. So uh, I like to think electronics have advanced a little bit, but maybe Maybe that's a false hope. All right, so we got these screws out. Just gonna slide this guy out. Set him aside over here so I don't confuse it. We're gonna take this guy, slide him in. Put this back here, let's line up the screw holes. And start screwing it back in the carrier. Pro tip, don't tighten all these screws down initially. Put them all in, leave them a little loose, let them rattle around a little bit so this thing can shift as you're putting the screws in. You tighten down the screws as you go. And this is on anything you have to open. If you tighten the screws down as you go, things can kind of get a little off kilter and out of alignment and it won't go in. So here, this last one, I'll go ahead and screw down all the way. 
I'm going to go to the opposite cor opposite corner diagonally. Screw that one down. And screw this one down. And screw the last one down. I have a feeling this is going to be a relatively short video because I don't think either one of these log drives were the problem. But, all right, there we go. Got the four screws in here. Whoops, over here. Four screws here. There's the disc. This carrier. And all we do is we go back, make sure this little arm is out, so that this little um, this little hook here, this little grabby hook, can grab it and pull it in. So let's go put this back in. Let's see, where are we? That in. Make sure this arm is out. It's probably hard to see. It's hard for me to see too. There you go. That little arm is out. Push it in. Arm starts to swing. I push it in the rest of the way. All right. All those discs are in there. Now, time to type the last command. Let's see what it does. Say request system add log two. There's no data on it, so yes. I'm gonna wait a few minutes here and it's probably gonna come back to tell us the same error as before. Client dagger timed out as client is not available. Ah, oh, look at that. All right, so Palo Alto support told me add these disks and then let them know what happened. So I'm gonna let them know what happened. Um, so these two disks have been added. We, we know it's not the log drives. It could be something else. I'm hoping it's not the RAID controller because I have a feeling that's going to mean <laughs> replacing this entire unit. I really don't want to do that. I will if I have to. So, all right. Well, that's all I got today. Um, there's actually some other things going on. There's uh, We're having problems with uh, uh, guest wireless. One of our wireless controllers, uh, they run on top of Linux and uh, the underlying Linux machine had a kernel panic and just died. I really don't know Linux all that well, so I'm going to call Extreme and ha have them troubleshoot this morning. Get, get guest wireless going again. And it's just guest wireless. It's not anything else. I'm hoping it doesn't have anything to do with our firewall because that's where guest wireless gets its DHCP. But... Uh, well, no, because if I plug in hardwired and go onto that same VLAN, I get a I get a DHCP address it's just just from the wireless this wireless controller. The other we have two, so the other wireless controller works just fine. So no, it's got to be this controller. So that's good. Um, and every time I reboot it and the other wireless controller takes over, everything works. So and all the other wireless networks are working. So um, can't really film that because I'm gonna get on the phone with Extreme Networks, and who knows how long, it's probably going to be a couple hours of troubleshooting. There's no way I'm going to make a couple hour video um, or stop and start while I'm trying to think. So yeah, that's all I got for this morning. This this issue is not put to bed, so I'll get back with Palo Alto support and tell them that didn't fix the problem there, and uh, we'll go from there. So. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, praise God. Everything's uh, going okay otherwise. Um, if you need prayer, let me know in the comments. Um, we can all pray for each other. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's all I got. It's early. Can you tell? So, as always, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And uh, for you Jesus haters out there, I'm sorry. I mean, this, this is what it is. Just, just go watch something else. I'm always going to praise Jesus for, for everything I do. Soli Deo Gloria. To God alone be the glory. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. God bless.